A scare in the skies over the Outer Banks. Two Navy jets take a dive into the Atlantic Ocean. The Coast Guard rushes to the scene and gets four aviators to the hospital quickly. Now an investigation is underway into a military mishap involving those Oceana-based jets. I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Tom is off tonight. You could call it a small miracle that no one was killed after those two FA-18s went down this morning. The big question remains, and will for a while, what happened? The Oceana-based jets went down about 25 miles east of Oregon Inlet on the Outer Banks. Ken on your side was there as two Coast Guard helicopters brought the four men into Santerra Norfolk General Hospital. They have quite a story to tell tonight about their rescue. Ten on your side's Aaron Kelly was at the hospital when those airmen came in. Aaron. And we understand from the Coast Guard that all of those crew members have minor injuries, appeared to be in good spirits. They'll be seen by a flight doctor to be evaluated. Meanwhile, an investigation is underway to determine what happened. We're grateful anytime we can bring anyone home safely to their families, regardless of the incidents. And obviously, we have a special bond with our sister service, the Navy. A welcome sight. Naval aviators walking on their own after the Navy says their jets crashed into the Atlantic Ocean Thursday morning. Coast Guard Jayhawk helicopters brought them to Santerra Norfolk General Hospital just before one Thursday. Two other crew members taken in on stretchers seemed alert. We received a call around 1030 um, this morning and uh, instantly jumped into action. The Navy says two FA-18F Super Hornets like this one were conducting routine training about 24 nautical miles off Cape Hatteras when the crash happened. The Coast Guard says a fishing vessel helped in the rescue effort. It couldn't have gone better. It was a textbook uh, rescue in, in a matter of speaking and uh, we're really grateful. Um, this kind of shows the inner service cooperation between the Navy and the Coast Guard and it's times like these where everything works out perfectly for everyone and we're we're just so happy we can bring um, these Navy service members home to their families. And the Navy will not be releasing the names of those service members. We understand they are two pilots and two weapons systems operators. The Navy is calling this a mishap, although earlier the Coast Guard reported this as a collision. Now both are calling this a mishap and they're investigating exactly what took place live in Norfolk. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.